<laughs> Egad, man! Are you trying to give me the case of the vapors? <laughs> My apologies, sir, but I did not touch it, sir. It appears the equipment is still mal malfunctioning, sir. Ah. Granted, technology certainly is a convenient thing, but our use of it is just plain off, confound it! Hmm. Yes, in any case, I don't wish to see the face of our current target, my good man. As you wish, sir. In that case, might I suggest this, sir? Boop. Hey, that's... Ah, uh, yes. Sissel. If all goes well with our deal tonight, we will have the power to change the world, sir. Uh, yes. It's very important. It's a very important night indeed, my good man. We can't afford to make any mistakes. And that is why we can't afford to trust that Sissel. No, we must be very careful. Sissel. That must be my name. Now that I hear it, it does sound familiar. A deal, huh? What could that be all about? Just what exactly was I up to, I wonder? We are completely prepared for tonight, sir. Yes. Now all we have to do is pluck the fruits of success. <laughs> One thing's clear. These villains seem to know me. And another thing. There seems to be some kind of connection between me and Miss Lin. Why else would our names both come up here like this? your head, man! I told you I don't wish to see this face! My apologies, sir. It seems to be another malfunction, sir. Well, get it fixed, man, unless you want me to see me malfunction! Certainly, sir. Okay, I've got to time it. Oh. No, I, I was already in the gems. I'm, I'm fine now. Yes. <laughs> These guys murdered me, and now they're targeting the redhead. Connection did we have with each other? I say this. This room is giving me the heebie-jeebies, my good man. Okay, it really—he's just British. They're just writing him as British. <laughs> All those paintings spinning around in the like. It's enough to give the man the jitters. <laughs> my apologies, sir. The room was just completed recently, sir. We are still trying to iron out the kinks, sir. Mm, yes, I just hope that's all it is. I mean, egad, man! How am I supposed to relax and enjoy my grapes? <laughs> the heebies uh, and the jeebies. The heebies and the jeebies. <laughs> I lost my life at a lonely spot on the outskirts of town. My name is Sissel. I think there's a connection between me and Lin, who witnessed my death. I was apparently trying to make a deal with a mysterious old man tonight. A woman who's was, was at, uh, who was at the scene of my death. Her name's Lin. She's already been killed once by the hitman, and I saved her with my powers of the dead. Uh, we read that earlier. He calls himself Nearsighted Jigo. He's a sniper who carries a golden shotgun. Somebody apparently ordered him to kill the detective Lin and me. Oops, slight spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> but he's gone now due to an unfortunate accident. So unfortunate, Dusty. He's probably the culprit behind my death, and Lin's death too, but his motives are, are unknown. Ap 
apparently he's planning to carry out a deal with me tonight, but I don't know the details. He appears to be the old man's servant. He operates the machines in that strange room expertly. These are the same. It's a miserable state of affairs where I can even be startled by a telephone that doesn't even ring. It can't. Hm. It's even more pathetic to be startled by the same telephone twice. But the problem must be solved, sir. The Miss Lynn problem, sir. What? Lynn? Uh, yes. You did mention taking the next step a moment ago, didn't you, my good man? Yes, sir. I sent one step ahead Tango to her, her apartment, sir. That telephone call must be him reporting in, sir. Oh, very good, very good. Lynn is in danger again. Again? Oh, you better get used to it, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> they will not be the last. This is One Step Ahead Tango. I'm at the Target's apartment now. And out with it, man. Have you taken care of her? No, she isn't back yet. What? It only stands to reason. If the Target got here first, they wouldn't call me One Step Ahead now, would they? I don't get it, but in any case, man, once you've taken care of her, then you'll promote me to the head of the Hitman division. Ugh! No, my- no, man, now you're even getting one step ahead of me! We can discuss my new salary later. Great Scott! Now you're even getting one step ahead of your last one step ahead! I'll get back to my job now, sir. Confound it, you're even hanging up one step ahead! <laughs> A luxurious partner. <laughs> <laughs> What did he say, sir? He asked me to raise his salary. What will you do, sir? Maybe I'll give him some of Nearsighted Jigen's pay. Lin. I can't lose her. She's my only lead if I ever hope to solve the mystery of me. Don't think there's really anything else we can do in here, so... To Lin's apartment. Telephone line guided me to Lin's apartment. Fortunately, Lin isn't here yet. But unfortunately, the hitman is. And there are a couple of other unfortunate little developments waiting for me, it seems. Hmm. It looks like there's an unlucky little lady here tonight. And an even unluckier little doggy. No! <laughs> the poor, brave little warrior. He must have been trying to defend his mistress. If Lin came home now... I have to do something about the situation, and fast. <laughs> well... We'll figure out what's happening in a second, but god. Uh, <laughs> he just ate a donut. <laughs> the nearsighted Chico. That nearsighted Chico is really losing his touch. It looks like the title of head of the Hitman division will soon be mine. I mean, he's kind of dead, so yeah. <laughs> kind of dead. A pro never takes his eyes off his prey. That's the secret to getting promoted. What's this fool mumbling about sitting there stuffing his face with donuts? But never mind that. I'd better rescue that poor little lady. 
And that poor little doggy too, of course. I should give him a, uh, the, the doc. <laughs> that sounds like a good Pomeranian voice. <laughs> yeah. Who oh, am I? Uh, are you talking to me? Of course! Do you see anybody else around here? If I remember right, the dead don't have voices. Their thoughts reach the other person directly. I guess that explains why this dog is talking to me right now. This is your mistress's apartment. And you are, presumably, the little doggy who died here. Died? So I'm dead, huh? Let's see, the dead lose their memories. They even forget what they look like. And so that's what's the, what this blue flame shape is all about. Oh! But there's no time to lose! Miss Camilla! My Miss Camilla is in trouble! You mean you remember? You know who you are? That's right! I'm Missile! Nice to meet you! <laughs> the goodest dog! The goodest boy! <laughs> the goodest boy is here! I'm a Pomeranian! Arf. <laughs> well, I guess now I know it's possible for the dead to regain their memories. <laughs> Thanks to this little doggy. Miss Camilla! Miss Camilla! My Miss Camilla is in trouble, and I vowed to devote my life to protecting her. But I died before I could rescue her. How could I let her down like this? So you're more worried about your mistress's safety than your own death, eh? I like your moxie, little doggy. It looks like it's time to go back to four minutes before this little guy's death. Time to save his life. My song de Amida. Let's see. First of all, I'd better see what I can find out about your death, little guy. Excuse me, but where exactly are we? Huh? You followed me? I followed you. You brought me with you. One or the other. Yeah. Hmm. It looks like the dead can move around together. This is the land of four minutes before your death. We're really here? So that means you're going to save Miss Camilla, doesn't it? Aren't you even surprised? I mean, we just traveled through time and... Not especially. I mean... I'm a dog! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Miss Camilla can walk around on two legs, but I can't do that. So if she can do that, then it's not so strange that you can walk backwards through time. So that's the way your mind works, huh? I guess that's reasonable enough. Come on! No thoughts on it! <laughs> come on, come on! Let's get started! Okay, first, we watch your last four minutes unfold. Then, we use what we learned to save Camilla. Just like when I saved Lynn at the junkyard. If we watch closely, we ought to be able to get a few leads. Keep your eyes open. Of course! Leave it to me to sniff out a few clues! <laughs> Found the remote. Yep. Shut that mutt up. No, missile. You're no 
not supposed to bark. The lady next door is crappier than ever tonight. If it barks again, I'll knock this wall down. You don't want her to knock the wall down, do you, boy? <sighs> Why do you like to bark so much anyway? You sure are cute, but just don't get us killed, okay? Darn, I really wanted to watch TV too. Hey, I know. I'll listen to music. <laughs> I'm in the mood for donuts tonight. Wall down. Hi. <laughs> hmm. I don't really like it when jobs outside the original scope crop up. I have to put it down as a separate charge, and the counting never likes that. But I guess it can't be helped. Sorry, kid. <laughs> so that's the whole dramatic story of what happened four minutes before you died. Wow, look at that. I'm dead. I'm kind of shocked to tell the truth. Okay, let's get started on saving her. But let's see. How are we going to do this? It seems to me the easiest way would be for you to take a big bite of the, out of that man's leg. Oh, I don't think I could do that. Whenever somebody I don't know comes around, all I want to say to them is, Welcome! I can't help it. Okay, then I guess the only thing we can do is to get the little lady to help herself somehow. Oh, I don't think she could do that. Did you notice her putting those red things on her head? Red things? Oh, you mean the headphones? Whenever she puts those red things on, that's it! I can call her name until my throat is sore, but she never hears me. To be perfectly honest, I hate those red things. <laughs> hmm, you're right. With those headphones on, our little lady doesn't even hear the sound of the intruder's gun. So maybe that's our first lead. Now we know we have to do something about that. Well, can't really change the little lady's fate by just standing around watching. That intruder in black will be entering this room in just four short minutes, and my ghost tricks can only get me so far. If I want to save the little lady, I'm going to have to get her cooperation, and the first step is to get rid of anything that might get in the way. drop them in the fish tank, Camilla won't be able to use them anymore. But if we drop them in the fish tank, Miss Camilla will get a scolding from Miss Lynn. All you have to do is to pretend it was your fault. That's the way of the honorable warrior. Okay, but you're obviously never seen Miss Lynn when she gets mad. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh-oh, this isn't good. Miss Camilla is going to put those red things on her head. Yeah, I know. And once she gets them on, it's all over. She won't be able to hear a thing. What can I do? just bought those headphones, too. How about if we tell her you did it, Missile? Darn, now I can't even listen to music, either. I think the gods are playing tricks on me tonight. Forgive me, Miss Camilla! I'm only doing it to save you! So what? Now you think you're one of the gods, huh? Huh? Uh, no! Never mind that! The important thing is, we managed to change the situation. That's true. At least now we can use the little lady's ears to help us. Free change. Yay! The question is... What do we do now? Unless we do something more, the outcome will still be the same. Oh, if only I had a big, strong teeth and an aggressive spirit! <laughs> hmm. It doesn't seem like we can stop the hitman from coming in. So in that case... Oh! I have an idea! Why don't we hide, Miss Camilla? Hide, huh? That sounds like just the kind of idea a little doggy would come up with. Are you making fun of me? But where could a little lady hide in this room? Hmm, I think I might have just the place. But there's just one little problem. How to get Miss Camilla de uh, in there, right? Exactly. If I could possess Camilla herself, the answer would be easy. But I can't do that, so I guess the only way to do it is to lead her there. Now what can I do using the objects in this room? I think I'll try out various things and see what I, I can come up with. And I'll be here watching, cheering you on! I'm actually gonna watch how things unfold now without the headphones. Mm -mm. They do say, I don't know how many different dialogue iterations there are, but I know there can be like a couple depending on how many times the, the person or dog dies again. <laughs> yup. Stop letting me die! Well, sure, taking a sweet time. <laughs> yep. I mean, it's an early puzzle, so they want to give you a lot of time to think about what to do. Mm hmm. Oh boy, the puzzles later on. <laughs> oh, the Rube Goldberg machines show Goldberg. <laughs> yeah. Okay, actually, I have to wait a while. I might make you wait full four minutes. <laughs> I wonder what the thing up there is. Hmm. Hmm. Thinky face. <laughs> A little Christmas <laughs> little mobi uh, mobile. It's very cute. Just a way to also signal that, oh, it's close to Crimbus. <laughs> Almost Christmas means it wasn't Christmas. <laughs> God damn it. Man, why is always Christmas? <laughs> Except it isn't. It's almost Christmas. It's almost. I'm sorry. Why is it always almost Christmas? for this one. Yeah. I knew how long I had to wait. Maybe I wouldn't. <laughs> I guess we just 
that. I have to start fucking around. Well, time is passing. It's just very slow in this one. Yeah. And the full four minutes. <laughs> door start howling. If you keep this up, that wall is going to come down on our heads before we know it. But you'll protect me if anything bad happens, right, Missile? Of course I will! That's quite a big promise for a little fellow. The poor little guy is up against some formidable opponents. The man in black and the woman in purple. Why do you give your always give your mistress so much trouble? Yes, I'm truly embarrassed by my own behavior. But when the little guy starts squeaking, it gets me all up in an uproar. And when I bark, Miss Camilla always comes over and gives me a nice hug. Hmm, we might be able to take advantage of that piece of information. Huh? How? Wherever the donut falls, the rat shows up to check it out. And then you go to bark at the rat. And then our little lady comes to you to quiet you down. Yes, that's just the way things work, I'm afraid. So in other words, the donut can be the bait that will lead the little lady to where we want her. Ah, <laughs> there's our bigger hint, I suppose. Hint, hint, hint. Of course, now that donut is gone, so... Finally. Darn. It looks like I'm down to only a few more seconds. Miss Camilla! We have to do something! We just have to! Now, now. Getting worked up isn't going to help. We're down to the wire here. Do you have enough time to do something to change your fate? Or is it time to use another one of my ghost tricks? Another ghost trick? What is it? We could rewind time and start all over again four minutes ago. Whatever we do, we'd better hurry. Listen up, little girl. I'll make you a deal. If you promise to keep quiet, I'll let you live. For now, anyway. Oh. Baby. What a shame. But I guess this brave little fellow refuses to accept our deal. Missile! No! Well, that's even more traumatizing. That's poor <laughs> so deeply upsetting. <laughs> Literally watching your poor dog get shot. <laughs> I would not survive. I would. I would die on the spot from grief. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. It doesn't seem I can stop the intruder from coming in, and I guess this little doggy doesn't have much fighting power. People often tell me my name doesn't suit me. <laughs> <laughs> I guess the only thing to do is to hide our little lady someplace where the hitman can't see her. 
Hmm, I better rewind time and think about this one. Right, let's do the actual solution now. <laughs> If you bark like that, how can anybody enjoy the pretty melody? And your poor mistress has to get up and quiet you down every time. Yes, I'm truly embarrassed by my own behavior. <laughs> hey, look at that. One of the ornaments fell off the tree. I'm not interested in things like that. I graduated from playing with balls a long time ago. You should try graduating from needless barking, too. Sorry, that's one thing I could just never give up. Tato faster! <laughs> It's a wooden box. Kinda heavy. I wonder what it was doing up there. I'm just glad it didn't fall on Miss Camilla's head. Me too. We don't need to add to the number of ghosts around here. Tidy up by shoving eyesores under the sofa. <laughs> hey, how come you're looking at me when you say that? Hey, wait a minute. Under the sofa, huh? That might be a spot the hitman wouldn't look. Ah, uh, yes. The most foolproof hiding spot. The sofa. <laughs> truly, truly foolproof. <sighs> come to think of it. Camilla climbs under the sofa all the time, trying to catch me. <laughs> You're a naughty little doggy, aren't you? So my new plan is to hide the little lady under the sofa. The only problem now is, how do I lead her under there? Oh, I can't select the box. Interesting. Mouse violence. Miss oh no. What are you doing under here, you silly boy? Oh, my little missile. You're always doing the cutest things. Nobody's here, eh? My prey is bound to come home sometime. Might as well make myself comfortable in the meanwhile. There. Our little lady's fate has been averted. It has? 
poor thing is still curled up in a ball and shaking with fear. Well, yeah, that's true. But that's not so bad. In the scheme of things, I'd say she's just fine. And look, you're not dead. <gasps> oh, you're right! We did it! We did it, didn't we? We did it! <laughs> well, to be precise, you're the one who did it. Huh? Me? I saved Miss Camilla? Yep. You're the one who led her under the sofa, right? You protected your mistress. I can attest to that. Oh, oh thank you! <laughs> Good doggy. Good doggy. Can I ask a question? Sure, what is it? What exactly are those strange powers of yours? Oh, you mean my ghost tricks? Apparently, they're the power to manipulate inanimate objects. If they're ghost tricks, then I can do them too! I'm dead too, after all! Uh, I guess? That's how it goes, right? I've been staring at those donuts as hard as I could for a long time now, but they won't budge for me. Why do you suppose that is? I don't really know. I guess you just don't have that power. Well, I have one thing to say to that. That's not fair. <laughs> what a donut! <laughs> <laughs> it's also the goodest boy. Let him have a donut. <laughs> Let him have a donut. <laughs> Sorry, but I guess not everybody who dies gets the powers of the dead. So, what's going to happen to me now? Nothing, really. Your death has been erased. You'll just go back to being a happy little doggy, living your everyday life. I guess this means goodbye. But we'll meet again sometime, right? Yeah, maybe. If you die again. What you did for me tonight? I'll never forget it! <laughs> well, I guess we'd better get, be getting back to the present. Time to see what happens next in our story. And now a new present is born. The little lady is still curled up in a ball and shaking with fear. And the little doggy is wagging his tail happily. So, what am I going to do now? I think I'll watch for a while and see what happens. What? Still at the junkyard. All right, got it. I'm on my way. Huh. I guess my prey likes to play hide and seek. She hasn't had enough of that junkyard yet, apparently. I can't let nearsighted Jigo beat me out on this one. I better hurry. <laughs> I mean, he doesn't know that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> About. You saved me, didn't you, Missile? I know you did. Maybe I shouldn't answer it. Lynn! A call from Lynn, eh? Sounds serious. I wonder what they're saying. I better go possess that phone and listen in. Oops. There's a little doggy all curled up on the floor, dreaming away the life we worked so hard to get back from. That's fine. But what's up with that core? The dead can't possess living creatures. That's one of the rules Mr. Desklamp taught me. So what would a living and breathing doggy be doing with a core? I'd better try possessing it and see. Oh! It's you! It's you! It's... hmm... Come to think of it, I never did ask you your name. I guess it's good we ran into each other again then. This is a good chance for us to re-introduce ourselves to each other. You mean you forgot my name 
already? After everything we shared together? The drama? The tearful goodbye? <laughs> My missile! But you know, it's strange. I wonder why you remember me, now that you're alive again. Do you remember your time being dead? Of course! All of it! It was terrible! <laughs> okay, let me get this straight. The memory of being dead doesn't disappear. And the dead I meet in the ghost world develop a core when they return to the land of the living. And if I then possess that core, I can talk to that person. It looks that way, yes? So it seems. <laughs> that Camilla, it never fails. What never fails? Every time she gets on that black hello, she talks and talks and forgets all about me. <laughs> no matter how much I run around and show off, she never even glances at me. So that was you showing off, huh? Well, I would like to hear what the ladies are talking about. Oh, so would I. <laughs> the black hello. <laughs> the black hello. <laughs> That's very cute. I always love, like, interpretations of, like, what animals think about shit they just don't know anything about. <laughs> yeah. It's very cute. Camilla! Oh, thank goodness you're okay. Well, I don't know if I'm okay exactly. You won't believe what just happened. Listen to me, you've got to get out of there right now. But what about dinner? I was thinking about spaghetti tonight. I won't be going back there for a while, and you might be in danger if you stay there too. But I already was in danger just a little while ago. Meet me at the restaurant, the chicken kitchen on Dead End Drive. Dead and drive? I don't know. That's pretty far. Just hurry, okay? Oh, and one more thing. Bring the music box with you, okay? Music box? I love music boxes. Is it a present for me? I'm sorry, but it doesn't play. I can't even get the lid open. Then you can't very well call it a music box then, can you? More like just box. Just bring it, okay? It's kind of big, and it's made out of wood. Okay, I will. Where is it? I kind of hid it in that room you're in. Excuse me. Ah! Lynn! <laughs> <laughs> Another victim to the fish tank. Not again. Darn. Now I've dropped the phone in there, too. How about if we tell her you did it, Missile? Yep. But I sure hope Lynn's alright. I better get going. I know right where Dead End, uh, Dead End Drive is. But I never saw any music box around here. Where am I supposed to find it? Do you know where it is, Missile? Don't worry, we preemptively solved your puzzle. <laughs> yep. <laughs> help me look, okay? Yup. Well, I guess the phone's dead now, too. What are the odds that would happen? Looks like our little lady is a bit of a klutz. The next thing you know, she'll be dropping that poor little doggy in the tank. Anyway, something is happening to Lynn. I'd better help Camilla find her treasure. Hmm, I don't know if it's because I lost my memory or what, but I don't seem to remember what a music box is exactly. Watch her kind of run around. And missile too. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him go. <laughs> Look at him go. It's a good boy. Child. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oops, we spook headed her. We did a spook. Hey, wait a minute. That cart just moved, didn't it? I've always thought so, but that just proves it. This apartment building is leaning to one side. Oh, this lady sure knows how to keep me on the edge of my seat. This is it! The music 
box. Yippee! <laughs> Where did you put that into? Child. I'll leave the remote here. But don't you touch it, Nissa. If the TV comes on, you'll start barking. I'd hate to find you flattened underneath that wall when I came home. Basil store the fish tank. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm leaving now, Missy. I have to go help Lynn. She's like a sister to me, you know? You be good while I'm away. And no barking. No barking. $1,500 fine. <laughs> <laughs> Do not owl. Still no peace for the little lady, and the redhead Lynn is facing a new crisis right now as well. Meanwhile, I'm in a bit of a pickle of my own. With the receiver at the bottom of the fish tank, I find myself still trapped in this apartment. Too bad I can't just curl up and go to sleep with my tail wagging too, because there's something I must do. The question is, how do I go about getting out of here? Chapter 3, 8.04 p.m. It's only been an hour. <laughs> Once Lord. again, Lynn is in danger, and I think she knows it too. I sincerely doubt she'll be coming back to this apartment tonight. She and I connect are connected to each other somehow. She's my only lead, and I can't lose her. I have to get to her, and fast. Uh. Oh, it sounds different with the arrange, though. Oh, I missed the... Dang it. <laughs> Maybe it'll pop up again. I got distracted by my favorite song. <laughs> <laughs> Valid. Well, I can't hang around here indefinitely. How can I change the situation? Just keep trying stuff and see what works? Oh, hello! What's up? I was wondering if you could help me. I'll certainly try! About the only thing I'm really good at, though, is barking. There really isn't much else. I think you might be right there. But I'm really, really, really good at barking. <laughs> Miss Lynn comes chasing after me with a broom. The lady next door kicks the wall. I've got quite a bit of influence around these parts. I love I love Missile. Truly the goodest of boys. If we gotta rank like video game dogs, Missile is like top tier. <laughs> truly, truly possibly the best video game dog of all time. Bork. Bork, bark, bark. I'll knock this wall down! You keep that racket up. I'll bring this whole dilapidated building down on you. Maybe it's calm it all down. Did you hear what I just heard? You mean the lady next door's angry howl? No, forget that. It was the sound of a telephone ringing coming from the apartment next door. Oh, I get it. You're thinking about borrowing her telephone, aren't you? But how are you going to do that without breaking the wall down? Well, the lady next door is kindly offering to do it for us. Yes, but she's mostly hoping to crush me underneath it. Oh, 
Come on now. Can't you bark any louder than that? Louder? But then that lady will knock the wall down on top of me. We'll worry about that when it happens. Mm, anyway, I'm barking as loud as I can already. I need to have this little doggy put some more energy into it. Let's see, wasn't there something else around here that gets a reaction out of him? Overstimulation! God, overstimulating this doggo. Oh, pound this wall open! Oh god, oh god. I told you, didn't I? I told you I would knock the wall down on you. <laughs> so, this is what it feels like to have a wall knocked down on you, huh? It's more like she knocked you out through the wall, really. I'm still alive, aren't I? You are. But the TV and the star ornament aren't. Oh, I'll never bark again, not as long as I live. But wait a minute. It looks like all that commotion wasn't for naught. Huh? Your barking made her create a path for me. It did? The wall is still standing, just like before. But there are paths only the dead can see. Oh, those kinds of paths. I understand now, she doesn't understand. <laughs> <laughs> yup. Huh, <sighs> that felt good. I haven't barked like that in a long time. You certainly seem to be putting your heart into it. It's nice to really love loose once in a while. I'm a little tired now, though. I'm not as young as I used to be. I'm two already, after all. <laughs> a whole two years. My god! Hmm. I wonder how old I am. I guess so. You're going to save Miss Camilla and Miss Lynn? I have to follow my own mystery first and foremost. That means everything to me. But you will save them, right? If it helps me along my way, then yes. I don't have any powers of the dead. I'm not even dead, actually. But I'm going to find a way to go help Miss Camilla, too. We create our own paths. Right, Missile? That's right! Okay, I'm leaving now. Guess this is our second goodbye. It is, isn't it? My name is Sissel. If we ever meet again, that's what you can call me. Sissel, huh? Got it! You know what, Sissel? I'm going to create my own path, just like you said. God. God help him. He's trying. Oh my god, does he try? <sighs> Miss my beloved. Tonight is the holiest of all nights. My deadline. All I need to get some inspiration from the muses is this bottle and some cheese. Here is to the boorish people next door. Are you all right, my darling angel? Have you taken your medicine like a good girl? Well, here I am in yet another strange room. What's with the oddly tense air of this place, anyway? Now where's that little treasure I'm looking for? There it is. The telephone. Now if I could just borrow it. God, I love those old, tiny, fancy-looking phones. Yeah. 
Even now, Lin's life is in danger. I have to use that phone, and fast. I can't very well make that woman bring it to me. I guess I'll have to find a way over there myself. A woman who was at the scene of my death. Her name's Lin. After she phoned the little girl in her apartment, I lost track of her. A hitman is after her again. Again. <laughs> again. The the other hitman. Hitman two. He's a hitman who, on the old man's orders, is targeting Lin. His name is One Step Ahead Tango. He's nearsighted Jigo's rival. Upon hearing that Lin was still in that junkyard, he headed there at once. The little lady. Her name is Camilla. Over the phone, Lin asked her to find the music box hidden in the apartment and bring it to the restaurant. A valiant pet. <laughs> <laughs> a friendly little Pomeranian. His name is Missile. His mission is to protect the little girl who is his mistress. He's doing his best right now to create a path to do just that. Perfumed lady. He's the goodest boy. <laughs> the goodest boy. Lin's neighbor. All I know about her is that she's a woman clad in purple who lives in an apartment decorated in red. An apartment with a strangely thick atmosphere. The woman in purple lives here. It's a, wor it's a world apart from Lin's apartment next door. Lin's home. A little girl and a small dog apparently live with her here as well. Because the little girl dropped the receiver in the fish tank, the phone line doesn't work. A music box was hidden in the ceiling. Mr. Prime Minister, you mustn't. I'm a married woman. And I'm a married man, but we cannot resist this any longer. I'm ready to abdicate it all for you, even if it means my ultimate ruination. Hmm. Ruination. Is that even a word? And that abdicate just doesn't look right somehow. This is going to nag at me until I'm sure. Where is that dictionary? Let's see, I know I put it here somewhere. Now where could it have gone to? I just can't find it. Release the mouse! Free the rat! Doing a lot of rat violence. So much rat violence. Speak. And this thing is too heavy. I can't manipulate it. Maybe that woman built up her destructive power by hefting this puppy. It's more like a weapon than a book. No, I mustn't. I mustn't allow myself to believe in your love, Mr. Prime Minister. But why won't you believe me? My love for you is true, I swear. And it's so strong it overwhelms me. You know, I've always wondered. If you can be overwhelmed by something, can you be just plain whelmed? Now this is going to nag at me until I'm sure. <laughs> it's a good question. I have in fact I'm asked so that well same <laughs> question. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'll get you next time. I guess this woman isn't the type to scream when she sees a rat. It's more like she takes them as a challenge, something to be hunted down. I can kind of identify with that way of thinking. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder if I can use this personality trait of hers. <laughs> 